Well, here we are in the main area with all the drag racing cars in the Garlitz Museum here in Ocala. Show you some of the things. Dragster with a Hemi here. <clears throat> this is a Swamp Rat 1, it says. Some of these you can pause them on the signs and read them if you want to. It's a big Hemi with eight carbs on it. Here's the Swamp Rat 27 right here. It was just an amazing collection of drag racing. He was the, the, you know, the, the first one to set a lot of records, the granddaddy of drag racing. And there's just an amazing collection of stuff here. Here's one with a flathead in it. He started back in the 50s doing this, and this one is his first dragster right here, 1954. Started with a Model T and modified it. There's two, well, I mean, there's a few rooms here, but there's two main buildings. This one has all the drag cars, and then there's one that has more of an antique car museum. So we'll take you through here. There's a room back there, and you can see all the stuff in here. And then there's also an engine room over that way. So we'll. We'll take a walk around here and show you what we see. This one's a Swamp Rat 6, 1964 or 5. Look at the Hemi in there. A lot of what he raced with was Hemi engines. Some of the early ones have flatheads and there's some other stuff too, but the bulk of them are Hemis. This one's a turbine car from the 1980s. Look at that, 219 miles an hour. Got a turbine engine on there. And basically you just sit right in front of it. This one's a Swamp Rat 10 here. This one got 219 miles an hour, 7.4 seconds in the quarter mile. There's a Swamp Rat 11 here. 220 miles an hour on that one. Over here we got a Swamp Rat 22 here. That's pretty cool. This is the one that they, he had the famous transmission blow up or clutch blow up on this. And that changed the way they built cars and they got them. I mean, this one, you sit basically right behind it and when there's a problem, it's a real problem. It blew off part of his foot. So they uh, changed the way they designed them after that accident. This one's 1962.
you did use a lot of 392 Hemis until they come out with the uh, 426. And then that's primarily what they used after that. Got a lot of cool posters and stuff here too. Look at the real uh, 60s, 70s looking stuff. Look at the suit on that guy. There he is, Big Daddy Don Garlitz right there. You can buy those posters here at the gift shop. This is right along I-75 here in Ocala. We'll jump around to some of these. This one's from 1964, it's a streamliner. That's wild. There's a bustle bomb. Look at that one. It's got an Olds Rocket 88 in there. And a Cadillac. It's got two. It's got a Cadillac engine back there. And an Olds Rocket 88 up in the front. This one's interesting. 1941 to 50. Got a flathead in there. The Bug. We'll go up this next aisle here. <coughs> Look at this one here. Big tail fin on it. Spoiler. Show you the information on that one. 1985 world champion right there. You see the one on the back side there too. That's pretty cool. We'll see that when we come around the other way. There's their racing suits too. You can see their fireproof suits here. This is nice here. Don Garlitz Dodge. Tampa, Jacksonville. Oh, this is a Max Wedge. 62 Dodge. You can read it right there. 413, dual carbs. There's one from 1973 here. Top speed, 247 miles an hour. That's pretty quick. All kinds of dragsters here, look at them all. This is, you know, anybody that's in the car is racing anything, this is the place to come. Just an amazing collection of stuff here. We can't show them all you know we'll scan over them but we can't talk about them all because this would make a really long video so you're gonna have to come here yourself check it out nice sunny Florida down here look at the little miniature here looks like it's got an operating engine and everything that's cool 1962 This one here is from 1964. That's an earlier one. Check the one out on this side here. Boy, look at that. That's a massive engine. You sit right in front of it. That's kind of how they changed them because then you don't have the transmission blowing up in your face. This one's Swamp Rat 25. This one's really cool here. 1972. Like I said, just pause it on any of these signs you want to read or you can zoom in on them if you're on a computer or something. There's a drag racing motorcycle there. Look here, Richard Petty. Look at all the uh, awards here, all the trophies. 
He won a lot of awards because he was, look at him, he was one of the greatest. Look at all those, there's a whole wall of them here. Here he is there, look at the flames coming out of the car. Those cases are all full of them too. There's a, a lot of little stuff too, you know, smaller collectibles and look at all the pistons that came out of cars. Some of them are melted. Some gears that are snapped off. All kinds of pieces and parts they saved over the years. He's, he even set records in uh, electric dragsters like in his 80s because he's 90, 92 or so today I believe. He's born in 1932. And he's been around a long time, and it's amazing that he still still gets around really well. Gets to a lot of different things. I've seen him at Iola swap meet in a few different places. Also, back in the 90s, uh, he came to my parents' antique shop in New Hampshire, and we met him back then. And uh, he came up in a 36 Ford Coupe with DG on the grill, and you'll see that car later in the video here, we'll show you. So, you know, he makes his, gets his rounds in. This one's 1971 right there. The Snake, it's a Wins Racer. Call that one Mattel Dragster. They must have made a toy of that, I'm guessing. We're here early in the morning, but you can see they're starting to get people in here. Here's the information on some of these that were, we saw these from the front, but this is the back side of them here. This is a 392 in that one, 1958 Chrysler Hemi. Tinker toy, this one, this one's got a Ford engine in it. Boy, that's a big engine. There's a wedge dragster. See if I can get in a little closer to read it there. You see the poster there, the snake and the mongoose. All kinds of drag racing memorabilia. There's one from 67. You can read the sign there. This one's 68. They've got them well organized. They kind of go by the years. <coughs> one's from 69. This is his first rear engine car here. 1970. This is the one that they did after he blew off part of his foot. Uh, this is how they change it. So now he sits in the front and you don't have those problems if the engine or if the transmission or clutch blows it's back here and it happens behind you. Not right in your lap. That one's Ed Roth's back there, that yellow one that we were talking about earlier. Here's another one off a of Model T. It's off a 26.7 Roadster. This one here is from 62. Show you the sign there if you want to look at it. Oh, this one's wild. It's got a dual nail head engines. Dual Buick engines. Look at them. Tipped at a 45. Fuel injection. This is the pocket rocket, real small. One there. I don't know if it's half size or less. Here's the mongoose. 
It's off a Corvette. Read that thing there if you want to. Bunch of information about it on the wall here. Boy, this one's wild. I don't know if this has got a, a rocket engine or what. Swamp Rat 33. We'll get back to that one, but I'll check this one out real quick while we're going by it here. Garlitz and Malone, 1984 on that one. Yeah, this one here is 1988. Right here, you can read the information on that one. Just pause that on there. There's a flathead and a hemi back there. There's also all kinds of articles and things you can look through, like these here, showing lots of Bakersfield Tampa Tornado, just all kinds of articles out of magazines and newspapers. Look at this one. Sit way back here. That's wild. Got a Chrysler Hemi. That one's from 57. Went 185 miles an hour in a quarter mile. You can see the sign there. Getting to some newer ones here. Some of these funny cars here. I can show you some of the information on these up here. 1991 Dodge Daytona. There's the info on that. Here's a 1980 right here. At had a berry car. Oh, a woman, woman driver on that one. Notice it's pink and stuff, and there's a woman there. That's pretty cool. There's a Swamp Rat 7, 1964. There's a 59 Oldsmobile engine, blown, a blown 394. This one here too. Look at all the Stromberg carbs on the Hemi engine. 1957. There's some more Swamp Rats, 1960. Well, from there we'll jump into the next room. Well, we'll walk into the back room here. Check some of these out. Look at this impressive collection here. Just amazing. There's all kinds of pictures on the walls here showing all different drag racing stuff. Look at this one here, shows the whole wreck here where they, where they start and it's a progressive picture. You can see it flying up in the air, crashing. We've got a couple Willys coops here. Oops, sorry, I just get my finger in the way there. Got a 37 and a 41 Willys here, dragsters. You can see some of the information on this one. There's a big block Chevy here, Chevelle. This one's a 66. I'm just going to show you the quick glance at the signs. Like I say, pause them if you want. Here's a 63 with a 409 in it. Two door hardtop. There's a Camaro here. Here is a 32 Ford and a 34 Ford next to it. This 32 is a three window coupe. Big, big engine in there. And this one's a 34 here. This one tells a little information about it. 
There's an Anglia dragster. Kind of a gasser style one there. Here's another 34. Tell us some of the information on that one there. Boy, look at these. Here's a here's a dragster with a it looks like an airplane engine. Let's see if we can. There's another another big engine back there. Yeah, this is a V12 Allison engine from a P40 fighter plane. It says there you can read the information on it. How would you like to get behind that? Straight pipes on here. You sit right behind it. That would be wild. Fall championship right there, 1959. There's a fiberglass two-door. Look at the little slits for windows in that. That one was built in 1964 with an all fiberglass body. This dart here. Don Garlitz, 426 Hemi in it. Roadster Dart, there's the information on it. There's a 62 Plymouth with a max wedge, 413. This one here, this yellow one's called the Bean Bandit. Got three Stromberg sticking out of the hood there. It's a Mercury flathead, it says. And a lot of these, a couple of these two here are flatheads. Silver dollar. This one's from 1955. Look at the small radiator in there. This one's from 59. There's a 62 Plymouth with a max wedge in it. Can read the information here on that. This one's got a V12. Must be a Lincoln V12 in there, flathead. It is Don's first real race car. 1954 Model T there with a flathead in it. Tells all the information. The Mechanical aspects of it. Here's a little miniature. Got a bridge and strap in it. Baby Moon Eyes, this one's called. Another Moon Eyes, 1959. Well, let's swing around the end of this aisle here. You see this one over here got in a wreck. See the Swamp Rat 31, look at the, this one wrecked. They, they just kept it like that.
These are some more back in the 50s here, 57. That one's wild. Show you the signboard on it here. That one's got an Olds engine, I think. This one's got a Buick nail head in there. Chevy, small block in that one. The racing suits and gear back there. There's a Tennessee bow weevil right there. This is Jungle Jim, the famous one there. That one's built off of Vega, 73. Hemi engine. This one has a jet engine in there. This one looks like a Mustang here. Surely Maldoni, funny car. That one's a Mustang there, funny car, is the info, 1984. This one's a Pontiac Trans Am. Check that out, old Milwaukee. Right there. One from John Force here. He's a famous, famous race car driver. There's another miniature one down there. John Force right there on the side. That's the one we came in first. Showed you first, now we're walking around the second area here. It is Shorty, 1972. And here we got the Swamp Rat 6, 1963. Here's another one from 63, Swamp Rat 5A. This aisle here. This one's from 64 there. Here's a Mopar missile right there. Three fifty four cubic inch on rails. The Patrician, nineteen sixty two to five. Body was hand hammered out of aluminum. Come out of New York. This one's pretty wild here. You can read the information on there. It's got a GMC supercharger, it says. Chrysler Hemi. 
Look at the wheels and tires on this. Interesting car. Got the shocks right up beside you there. These almost look like an F1 shock tower there. Off a Ford pickup, I'm guessing. There he is. The man himself right there. Here's another miniature one here, model. There's a simulator game you can get on here. You can sit there and race away. Damage caused by a wheel spin, just with one run. As you can see, the I would tore it up there right in the center. 279 miles an hour. Another one with a Briggs and Stratton engine there. It's miniature. A couple big boys here with the tail fins. Well, that's it for that room. We're back in the first room we started with, so we're gonna walk up to the end up here, go to the engine room. Here we go, the engine collection. This room here is just full of amazing engines and speed equipment. Here's a Chrysler Marine engine. Used them on boats and stuff. Another marine engine there. These are Volkswagen cutaways. You can see all the operating aspect of it. Even the transmission here got a clear window on it. Here's a cutaway of a GM Turbo 400. All these engines under glass here. This one's a 1970 small block Chevy. Look at all the flathead intakes here. Quite a collection of multi-carb flathead intakes all over the wall here. Got some flathead Fords. This one's a Mercury one, 1941. This one here's got four carbs on it. Show you the signs on some of them. Here's the little 60 horse, little baby flathead. Here's a Dodge 1941. It's a flathead six with dual carbs, split manifolds, chrome cylinder head, pretty cool. There's a 440 Chrysler engine cutaway. All kinds of speed equipment here. Intakes, cylinder heads, you name it, they got it here. Look at this cutaway, 1951 Chrysler Hemi there. It's a 331. There's a 54 cutaway. There's a 65 Hemi over there cutaway. Some amazing stuff here. 
This is a 49 Rocket 88. Here's the famous 426 Chrysler Hemi there. There's a racing head. Another Dodge Hemi there. Another Dodge Hemi. I'll show you this one on this side is a 427 Ford. See how massive that is? It's a really big engine. There's some of the information on it. <coughs> There's a 6,000 horsepower engine here. Come out of Swamp Rat 34. See Don signed this one, 2003, top fuel. This is just the kind of place you got to come and check it all out. It's just an amazing collection of stuff. So anyway, this is the engine room. We're going to get to the other building uh, before they get too many people in here because that's where they have all the antique cars and we'll go check it out, catch up with you there. Well, here we are in the other building. You can see this building is all antique stuff. Uh, lots of collections of smaller parts and pieces, advertising things, slot machines, all kinds of stuff. There's old gas pumps. There's a Whizzer motorbike. So we'll take you for a little tour through here. See a guy working on his car here. All kinds of oil cans and pieces and parts and tools. Got all the early Texaco cans there, those are pretty cool. There's a 39 Ford. Cabriolet. There's Gartlett's original 39. He purchased this in 1954. Oh, he's had that one a while. There's some more engines on this side. Here's a twin H Hudson engine here. Twin H power. 32 Ford flathead there. There's a whole row of these glass cases are all full of engines. There's a 40 Ford with a chopped top here, convertible. There's a restored 40 Ford convertible right there. There's a 40 Ford Coupe right here, a Winfield Coupe. It's got some good history with that one. You can see quite a few grills and hubcaps and stuff on the walls too here. Even got some milking machines there. A little of everything. Here's another, I'll swing around to this side, another V860, little baby flathead there. And here's a 12 cylinder Lincoln one, 39 Lincoln Zephyr. Some transmissions for flatheads. He's got quite a collection of 40 Ford cars here, a couple two door sedans. This one's got the Columbia Overdrive, two speed axle. Good looking blue car. There's a 40. Mercury, pretty rare, convertible sedan. There's a 42, you don't see very many of those. 42 Mercury, wartime, convertible. There's a 49 Ford. 
This is a 50 Crestliner that's got the padded top and the body panel on the side. This is a 1950 Don and Pat's hot rod right there, it says. So all kinds of, we're walking down along these engines, but there's all kinds of flatheads here of varying years. This is the last of the style, 52 or 3. After that, they went to overhead cam. Ooh, this is cool. 50 Mercury lead sled here. Nice. Driven by the Fonz on the TV show. Here's one that's all restored in 1950. There's a 67 Ranchero Ford. And we got a couple Mustangs here, 64 and a half, right here. Sixty-six convertible. Look at that big Chrysler uh, Hemi with a air raid siren. That's interesting. It's from 1952. Victory siren, they say. There's a big Packard, or 1940 Club Coupe. And a '56. Chrysler over here. This one's kind of a survivor, it looks like. Can read some of the information on it. It's a 300B. Got some more engines here. 426 Hemi, Buick Nailhead, a little Buick V6. That's kind of cool there. Yeah, we got a Corvair convertible. From here, we'll jump up the other aisle. Well, on this side, we got a lot of early Fords, a couple Model A's over there. There's a 32 three window, original. There's a 32 Roadster. This one's a 32 Cabriolet. Another three window here, hot rodded. Here's a 34 three window. This is like what I have. Really nice car. We'll stop at a few of these so you can read the signs. You just got to pause on them. Here's a Cabriolet 34. This one's a 35 Roadster. And a 36 Roadster. Got all kinds of military stuff here. In the case and up on the back here. Now this one here is a 36 five window. And this is the one I was saying earlier that he came to my parents' place in New Hampshire in the 1990s. Got the DG on the grill for Don Garlitz. And uh, this is what he was driving when he showed up. He signed some autographs for us. He bought a few little things, and we had fun meeting him back then. This is a 37 Ford pickup and a 37 Ford Roadster here. Here's a coupe, all 37s. Another one here. You can see some of the signs here. Some, a lot of these are low mileage original cars. Another one here. These look like 39 Deluxe. Coupe, a couple of them. Quite a collection of early Fords here. Here's a 48 Coupe. See the whole row of them there. There's where we went down earlier. All the other Fords, mostly on that side. 
Got some Ford dashes here. That one's a 41 and a 40. Convertible dash, it says. Well, we'll catch some of these on the back side here. A couple Corvairs there. There's a Coronet with a 426. It's a four door. Kind of interesting being a four door. AM radio. Real plain. Little dogfish hubcaps and stuff. Real sleeper there with a 426 Hemi in it. That would be a fun, fun car to drive. Sleepers are always a, a good, good time. There's a 68 Hemi Coronet RT. Nice looking car. Here's another 70 Dodge Challenger with the 426 Hemi. Fifty-four Chrysler Imperial. I got a fifty-eight Chrysler Imperial convertible. And there's a fifty-six Chrysler limousine over there. And a really cool old camper. That's a nice old camper there. You can see some old signs on the walls there. Some old Mopar ones and stuff, Firestone sign there. Get over on this side. Got a couple Crosleys here. They did those are an early compact car. These engines, I've had a couple of these engines here. You can lift them right up by your hand. They don't weigh anything. That's some information there. This one's a 48 wagon. I remember my dad bought one of these back in the 80s and we put it right in the back of his Dodge pickup. Had a full size eight foot box and that went right in there and he dragged it home. There's a 53 Chrysler Hemi. There's a Cadillac engine here, out of a 49 Cadillac, 55 DeSoto Hemi, little Willys engine back there, the orange one. There's a Boss 429 Hemi, oh boy, that's something, Ford engine. And on this side we got some Chrysler stuff. I'll jump around over here for one second before we walk up the dial. Here's a Suzuki trike. And this is this is wild. Looks like a, it's a lawnmower with a big engine on it. There's a Thunderbird. Over here we got the Chryslers. 54 New Yorker. Look at that. I Cantina right there. I kind of wonder if he didn't get that at my parents' antique shop because they had one of those, but maybe not. I'll have to ask him. 56 Chrysler for Dwight's. Dwight Eisenhower there. There's a 49 Plymouth. You can always tell a 49 real quick at those ripple bumpers. Four-door sedan, all restored. There's a little Pontiac Fiero. It's a 1986. And we got a Studebaker, a bullet nose Studebaker here. And a Studebaker dump truck there. I haven't seen any trucks until now. Now it looks like there's a couple trucks on this side of the building. That one's a Starlight Coupe, 1951. Got a real wraparound greenhouse rear window. This one's a 47 dump truck. Another cool thing about this place is they get a lot of things, recordings like this that are Don himself talking, telling you the history of some of this stuff. There's a Fiat, 1939. Here's a rare truck, a Willys, Willys pickup truck. There's another Studebaker. This red one is a 48 Studebaker pickup. This is a Studebaker car here. He's got some orphans over here. 
Yeah. That one's 1940 Studebaker. Yeah, Buick side trip really sets these cars off on the side. Two door sedan. Like a, Got a little Willys four door sedan here. That one's a 1940. Got an early Chevy here, two door sedan. All restored. It's a 1931. Look at some of the information on it there. It's a 25 Chevy truck. Not too many of those survived because they got an all wood cab. Tell some of the information of it. Found in 1972. There's a 23 Model T depot hack. And a 26 Touring, right there. Those are the first all steel Model T's. There's a Metz Roadster. That's an interesting car. It's a 1913 Metz. Got a couple of early brass cars here. There's some in behind there too. We'll come around the front of them a little bit here. This is a 1909 Buick. Another 09 Buick there. There's an 04 Orient. Even have a cylinder player phonograph. There's a moon. Some of the information on the moon there. They have a Rolls Royce looking grill, radiator shell. There's a 22 Buick Coupe. This one's a Dodge, 1931. Those are a cool car because they're all steel too. I've had a couple of these bodies of that age. Oh, here's a nice Dodge here. It's a three window coupe. That one looks, looks mostly original. It's a 32. You can see the information on it here. Yeah, it says it's all original. Looks really nice. That's an amazing car right there. At one point we had a 31 Dodge three window coupe. My dad did. That one's a 32. There's a 35 Plymouth four door. Got all kinds of license plates along the top there too. A lot of Pennsylvania ones. Got a Chevy fire truck there. A little Henry J engine. Flathead. And a 31 Dodge engine. There's a Chevy Coupe. There's a couple Chevys here. You got a Chevy Coupe and a convertible and a two door post over there. This one's a 41. Right there, the blue one. This is a 49 convertible. Kind of a maroon color. Got the information on it there. This one's a 55. It's a 210 two door post. There's Delray Coupe there. Tell some of the information. Rust free example found in Iowa. Iowa. Original California car, it says. There's a 2003 Corvette anniversary model. Got some more signs back here. There's a Volkswagen. And then there's another Volkswagen chassis here to see what it looks like with no body. Get around the back of it here, check it out. There it is. Air cooled rear engine. Here's an engine out of one, 1960. That one back there is kind of a hard to find car. It's got the split window, split rear window. It's an earlier one. There's a Carmen Ghia right here. 1974. And an MG, 54 MG. And here's a little Dodge Dakota. It says Big Daddy's RT on the side, 5.9. So they got the 360. Engine in the little Dodge Dakota makes for a peppy ride. 
And we'll catch up some up at the front here. This one's an 04 Simplicity. Got a Dodger. All kinds of gauges and stuff. There's a Cadillac, 32 Cadillac right there. Convertible. We'll jump in this other room real quick. There's another room you can't walk in there, but there's all kinds of general antiques and stuff in there. Anyway, that'll, that'll pretty much do it for the video here at the Don Garlitz Museum here in Ocala, Florida. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to our channel. We got lots of cool stuff coming up, swap meets, auctions, ranch finds, museums, all kinds of stuff, anything automotive. And, uh, you know, give us comments, likes, all those things help our videos. And uh, we'll catch you on the next excursion.